Welcome back to a RuneScape Underground Adventure video where I investigate suspicious activity in RuneScape based off of tip-offs sent by the community. And an incredibly rare tip-off just came in. Subject line, bots in PvP world at Gauntlet. My mind started racing because Gauntlet loot is noted and your gear and inventory are cleared when you enter, meaning there's no reason to bank your loot unless your inventory is completely full, which it takes a while to fill up. It's also probably a mistake by the botter having them log into PvP worlds, meaning they'd be easy to kill, they don't have any anti-PK code. So I go to the gauntlet in Priftinas and set up camp in world 392, like the tip-off says. Within three minutes, an account comes out of the gauntlet. Username, I miss you SS, but I'm too high of a combat level to attack it. This is my only account with access to Priftinas, and it's a level 115. Seems like this account is definitely a gauntlet bot though. Rank 48 for regular gauntlet, and looks like it has base stats to get here. These bots make 3 to 5 mil per hour, so they could easily be holding 20 mil, 50 mil, 100 mil in noted loot. Two minutes later, another bot comes out, level 104 that I can't attack. To be honest, I'm not thinking that clearly. I just start DDS specking it, it grabs its loot from the chest, and goes right back into the gauntlet. Completely ignores me. I don't know what I was thinking, maybe the bot would just break when it's attacked, but obviously it isn't coded to react to being in PvP. So I went to grab freezes. Definitely a bot though, because this one is in the top 100 on the high scores in Corrupted Gauntlet kill count. 10 more minutes of waiting, and I'm able to freeze and spec out the bot. My heart is pounding right now as I'm checking the loot. This one drops two mil in noted rune and stackables. So maybe the bots bank sometimes, still some of the best loot I've gotten from a single bot. But the tip off said that there are four bots running in PVP worlds, I've only seen two. A little more camping later and I spot a third bot, but it's also too low for me to attack. The level 104 is nowhere to be found, so I log off for a few hours and in the meantime start trying to recruit peers that have Song of the Elves completed to come PK those lower level bots. When I get back on though, the botter must have reset the bot without noticing why it was broken, because I find it again and KO it. I guess the bot farm is big enough for them to not notice. There are literally three to five gauntlet bots in every single world. So I use the loot key, and it's 700k, pretty decent loot. The bot probably wasn't running as long as before, but there's also an item I don't recognize in there. It's called a player note. Was this just added to the game? So I read it. F off sir pugger, leave my robot ass alone, you fat nerd, stop ordering Uber Eats. Okay, that hurt my feelings, but the bot isn't wrong. So let's do something about it. Let me help you save time, money, and get healthier because that's what factor meals do. Let's talk about these three goals in more detail. Goal number one, save time. Factor meals are delivered straight to you. All you need to do is heat them up. It takes literally a couple minutes. No need to grocery shop, no need to cook for 45 minutes, no need to even think about or plan what you're having to eat. Goal number two, save money. Stop ordering so much Uber Eats or Grubhub or whatever delivery app you use. And this is coming from someone who used to order way too much food. It's expensive and the options are on average not healthy. Factor is much cheaper and much healthier, which brings up goal number three. In my experience, eating healthy can be a hassle. Healthy food ordering options are super limited. I often don't have time to cook up a bunch of meat and veggies, let alone go to the store every few days to restock. Factor lets you choose from over 30 different meals that have handy labels like Protein Plus and Calorie Smart, so you can pre-plan an entire week of healthy meals in literally 60 seconds. I save 30 to 40 minutes every day and eat a whole lot healthier with Factor, which is why I'm happy they offered to sponsor this video. So use my link in the description or go to go.factor75.com and use code POGPUGGERAPR50 for 50% off your your first box. Once you click, my description will live update to count up the purchases. So for the rest of the day, roughly six more hours, the level 104 sits in the Priftinas respawn spot broken. It makes sense that it wouldn't be able to death walk back. The next day, all three of these bots are banned, but there seem to be fresh bots that have taken their places seemingly instantly in the PvP world. They're much lower level though, a combat 86 and then two combat level 70s. I watched these accounts doing gauntlet all day while trying to recruit a peer to come kill them. The level 86 seems to be doing corrupted gauntlet and runs to the bank deposit box once in a while so they do bank but the lower levels seem to be doing regular gauntlet based on their kill count and i never see them bank finally i recruit a peer named subscription to kill the level 86. unfortunately the account is still too high to kill the level 70s we set up and subscription easily gets the kill for all their trouble they only got 300k loot the other bots also disappeared out of the pvp world before i could recruit others to kill them still man always love it when a botter messes up like this and we can exploit it what is going on at bandos all of a sudden there are tons of solo players 
players doing some click method that makes them take no damage, which involves clicking on a cannon base repeatedly, and everyone's saying they're bots. I've gotten 34 tips about it. First account I find has a cannon base down for this click method. Looks like its stats are just high enough to complete Song of the Elves, and then it just has 500 Bandos kill count. And by the way, spoiler alert, one month later, the account isn't banned, but has 3,600 Bandos kill count and 101 ranged, making no progress in any other stat. It also has 160 mil worth of gear. Now here's the second account I've found. Sweaty PVM. Same gear, just a different variant. It has 38 million ranged XP, 10,000 Bandos kills. Once again, take perfect prayer and movement to avoid all damage from Bandos. And again, a month later, it's still not banned and has 16k Bandos kill count. It's rank 47. And other than combat stats, it just has basically base stats to complete Song of the Elves. There are many more accounts like this. Same gear, same method. Some of them might even be hacked. This is the most exploited I've seen a boss. Not in terms of kill count, but in terms of the method. Taking basically no damage while soloing Bandos. I sat and watched 10 kills in a row from one of these accounts. It never missed a prayer switch and it never took one single damage. Some of these accounts from previous tip-offs are already banned, so I have confirmation that at least some of the accounts are bots. And then there are also other types of bots here that use a dragon crossbow and a blowpipe instead of the crystal armor setup. They don't take fully zero damage, but it's close. Many of them had between 300 and 10,000 Bandos kill count when I found them, and most of them have been banned since. So I know Jagex has at least banned some of each of these type of bots. An insane tip just came in. World 309 at Winter Todd. This person says they see around 100 accounts with 100 plus million fire making XP all doing the minigame in like a synchronized way. And when I go to check it out, it's worse than that even. And it's very clear. Because when the bots get to 500 points so that they get a reward chest, they stop the minigame and wait in the lobby area, which is abnormal. Most players are here for max XP and supplies. So observe, the farm must be hundreds of bots all on this world and almost every single one i click on has over 100 million fire making xp it's insane they range from combat level 3 to 70 some have over 10,000 winter todd kill count putting them in the top 100 on the high scores many of them are 200 million fire making xp this is probably the biggest bot farm in terms of sheer xp i've ever seen in one place as soon as i see this i check discord and an anti-cheating mod is online so i immediately ping them within three minutes they said they banned 141 winter todd bots with about 1.7 billion gp worth of loot on them an hour later i check back at winter todd and somehow the bot farm seems to have gotten even bigger there must be so many layers of these bots waiting to log in on cycles to replace banned accounts, and even the new bots seem to have hundreds of millions of XP. So I ping the anti-cheating team again, this time literally saying like, okay, check World 309 right now, there are hundreds more of these bots. And this time, they told me over 200 bots are banned on World 309 alone. And I check again, the minigame is almost wiped clean of bots. I've never seen anything like that before. The bots seem to mule on the Varrock West wall where I've seen multiple bot farms mule before, which makes me think that the same scripters behind the massive green dragon bot farms that have been plaguing this game for 10 plus years. I've gotten lots of tip offs of people seeing these bots all streaming from the Grand Exchange over to that Varrock West wall to trade over their gold. These wildy boss bots are getting so ridiculous. The person running them must just be mocking us now, I think. Look at this tip. New spindle bots in full obsidian with the ursine chain mace. So they each risk bank. Except the problem is now the botter must have also updated the script because they insta tele from all players now, not just PKers, and then hop worlds. So there's literally no way to kill them. There's like a second delay where they can see you enter the cave before you can attack them. So they're teleporting before you get a click on them. That's probably why the botter doesn't care their gear is so expensive. I hopped through some worlds, found four or five in full obsidian pretty quickly, and then eventually found one that didn't teleport. I don't know why, maybe it has to do with combat level since this one is a bit higher level than the others, but I was able to land a teleblock on it without any offensive mage gear on because they teleport from that and I got the kill. The loot is 1.3 mil, and it wasn't even wielding the obsidian helm or obby cape that some of the other bots were wearing. If I could figure out a way to kill them, they'd probably be risking at least 2 mil. As of now, 
I have no idea how I'm gonna do it. This is a first. Someone sent a tip off about new end bots that are difficult to kill, but they want to put a five mil bounty on each bot's head. So every bot PK I get is five mil GP. So obviously let's go to ends and see what we can do. And there are definitely a lot of bots here and they're definitely not easy to kill. All combat level 80s, full dehyde with a rune crossbow. Not only do I splash a lot, but they teleport almost instantly. I think it might be my ping on all the British worlds. They only seem to be on British worlds, but I feel like I got the click off on the teleblock before they start tabbing at least a few times and somehow they always still tab out. This strategy is not working at all. I think a good 30 minutes were spent just hopping through worlds and trying to get a teleblock on them. But then I run into a non-bot killing Ents and I PK the player anyway. And as I'm doing that, it looks like a bot walks up from the south before teleporting out. So I may not get any Ent loot from the bots, but I could probably kill them by attacking them as they run back. And I found out that they don't hop worlds after you make them teleport out. So I know where they're going to be. First attempt, I get the teleblock off, but it escapes because it's too high of a combat level. A good another 30 minutes later, I teleblock one of the lower level bots that I can attack for longer and get the kill. It's only 50k loot and I'm not gonna collect the bounty. Not only do I work for free, I don't think this really counts because I didn't find a way to kill the bot with its loot. These bots are just getting better and better. Have you recently run into intelligent bots that argue with you in game? And do you want to know how to identify them? Click here to check out my recent video investigating ChatGPT being abused by botters. And if you enjoyed this video, leave a like and subscribe so that we can hit 350,000 subscribers soon. See you later.